Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are playing a game called Power Lust. So Power Lust is an action RPG game, kind of like Diablo Immortal. Um, very, very old style looking ARPG. D very, very dungeon crawler. So I want to check it out. It has been out for a little while and I wanted to sort of take you guys through it whilst we're waiting for Diablo Immortal, of course. So I know this game is still very early in its development from what I've been able to gather, been a few updates, bug fixes, things like that. So if, as you look through the update info here, uh, January 2020, new class, they've added a warrior, shields, passive skills, potions and bug fixes, April, uh, mage, spell, aim, fix, experimental co-op, multiplayer, dungeon minimap, auto, loot, pickup options, zoom and brightness settings, fall 2020. Plan to add a lot new dungeon zones and, um, sorry, dozens of new enemies, new bosses, and a town with vendors uh, for the dungeon mode. Awesome. So, I really wanted to play this game. And I want to go to the story. I've, I've actually played this on another device as well, just so you guys are aware. Just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea on what, what's happening. Um... And as I sort of know a little bit about the game, I sort of wanted to sort of be a little bit on the prepared side, of course. Now, important message here while switching to the story mode, it is currently very short. It's a work in progress. I'll be working on it in the future. So it sounds like it's a very, very small development team, possibly one development team by the looks of things. So that's all well and good. I want to do the mage. So let's go ahead and do the mage. And I think we've got here game mode, story outdoors, uh, quest NPCs, dungeon, pure hack and slash difficulty, casual, easy combat, life regen. The game is rather hard in normal mode, hardcore, death means death. So I, I guess that's like permadeath. So let's go ahead and play and check it out. So I wanted to sort of show you guys this game here um, and purely only because so you guys have a little bit of an idea on how this uh, game looks and if you guys are interested in picking it up, I believe it's only available in the Google Play Store, so I don't know if it's available on iOS, uh, do check that out guys, it is called Power Lust, so see if it is available or not, if not then look, it is what it is, um, you might be able to um, you know, play it on an emulator, maybe, maybe grab uh, Blue Sacks on a PC, and you should go, I should be able to check it out for yourselves. Now, this is basically a little bit of a tutorial that we're playing through at the minute. Let's go ahead and tap here, tap on our abilities here, and choose an ability from the list. So, I think we've got the Firebolt here, so I think we've already equipped that, or equip it there. Equip, okay. Looks like we've done that, I guess. Or do we equip it there? Okay, cool. And then we've got the fireball. Can we equip that there? I think they're the same as these two guys here. They look the same. Cool. So it gives you a few options here. And you've got your potions up here, objectives here, of course. Here brings you back into um, your menu, of course, so you got your ability. So we know what that's all, all about here, which is good. Inventory as well. So it looks like we've got some leggings there that we can utilize. This is all of our, our space here that we've got. Um, AE to equip, I guess. Sell all or just sell the individual. Uh, skills. As we tap over here, once we get skill points as well as we advance in the game, you, you guys will be able to drop skill skills into all these, and these become um, your uh, your buffs, I guess. Journal obviously explains itself there. Once we start getting quest lines and things like that, we can revisit a few things. So from here, from what we can see, there's not much going on. It's only just a little tutorial here. So, so it looks like it's a very early game from what we can see. So there's constant reminders about um, development and things like that. So um, any bugs and things like that, report them. Um, if you end up enjoying this game, then if you want to support the developer in any way, shape or form, try and 
um, provide any sort of feedback so they can take it on and hopefully implement any changes that are necessary. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy here. So you came out of the Resurrection's Tone, you must be a capable adventurer. Uh, what is it that you want? So we've been having some troubles, reports regarding the cemetery in the south from here. Can you please get rid of the skeletons that you find there? You don't, uh, sure, or you don't expect me to do it for free, do you? So let's just go short, let's, let's keep him happy. Cemetery is not far, just follow the road south and we can leave. Cool, so that's our very first mission. So if we go up, end up coming up this way here, this is obviously to the north, which we will, uh, won't explore for today, but let's have a look and head down south and see what's what. As you can see over here, there is a few little bits and pieces here, like little towns, villages. Uh, it doesn't appear that we can enter in here for whatever reason. There's a person here that we can talk to as well. Greetings, adventurer, servant of um, Darian. All right, let's leave. Well, I want to do the the, um, the skeletons first. So we'll definitely go ahead and check that out. And I guess if we go keep going down south here, we should find, I guess, what would be the cemetery or the crypt, destroy skeletons. As we're sort of going along here. Oh, okay, yeah, there they are. I can't kill them from this angle over here. So let's go over here, this way. And let's see if we can find our way to these fellows over here. Oop. Okay. It was blocking on a wall here. So far. Now, there's no auto directional uh, directions with this uh, control. So, not too sure whether or not if it's going to be changed, um, you know, with future updates or anything like that. But you're going to have to sort of be precise in the way that you deliver your attack. And same goes with the... Um, uh, with the warrior as well. So I've played both of the warrior and the mage for a little bit, just, you know, about half an hour each, just to sort of get a bit of a feel for it. And pretty much that's what I sort of got for my first uh, general assessment of, the, of everything here. And right now I appear to be lost because all I want to do is head back to, there we go, we're back on the path. I want to go back to our fella from beforehand. So let's um, continue over this way. And right now you can't really use some of your bit, um, abilities here. Let's see what he's got to say for us. So thank you for destroying those things. You are welcome. Unfortunately, it looks like they keep coming back. You need to find a way to stop this. Cool. I didn't really get anything out of that. So make sure the skeletons don't come back. I guess what we could do is we could head down to... Um, the next part of the quest line, I guess. Now, I think they said it was towards the west. If we go back into our little objectives here, so um, yeah, so the hill west of the village. So I'm assuming this way will be west, and we can just head over this way and see. There we go. So let's go travel. And I'm guessing it's up this way. Oh, what's this? Okay. Hello? Not letting you in, go away. Just wants to know what the temple is. Well, do you want to go there? It's better to be nowhere near this place. So if your business, just tell me where it is. That's why I want to go. They want to get rid of the evil that resides there. So let's go with that. So what I'm doing is the responses that he comes up with, um, I'm just literally tapping on it. So it's the only way that I know. Um, I don't think it auto does it for you. So I spent a little time in my own time to try and sort of work that out, but just so you guys are aware. So it's not far from here on the hill, Neil, but I just followed the road. Click thank you and continue on. So we can just follow the road here. So I think it's gonna just navigate and push our way over to uh, the temple. So I'm guessing that's where the crypt is going to be. And we can just go all the way up here. All the way up. There's a little bit to go through. There we go. Looks like we're here. Let's do a quick discover around here. So let's just go around, see if there's anything that I can pick up here. It doesn't appear to be that way, unfortunately. So again, as I said, it is very early and 
I don't expect anything too much out of it. Now, as I'm playing it, it does feel a little bit clunky. It's not smooth or fluid as I would like like it to be. Um, honestly, comparing, say, this to Anima, Anima is a lot smoother, uh, a lot more intuitive, a lot more things you can do with Anima, to, to say the least. So I'm only just putting it out there only just so you guys um, are well aware of it. And yeah, so at least you guys have um, some bit of context behind it. So I'm guessing this is where we're going to go into the crypt here. Yeah, you know, I don't believe I can go down here. There is a little bit, a little table with candles, I assume. So okay, there we go. So we can jump into the dungeon here. It doesn't appear that we can leave. Now what I've noticed here with this is you do get EXP and you do get um, a mana regen back as well. So it's probably good to break these things down and you do get little coins that drop as well. So do make a, a note of that because I've just missed those two here. So um, you can purchase things as well or use coins to upgrade uh, certain abilities as well. So we'll find, um, I'll show you what that means a little bit later. Hopefully we'll find something in here that will show us that. There is a different mode as well. There was multiplayer. Um, that you guys notice on the front screen as well. There's also a dungeon run as well, and that's pretty much um, just a forever running dungeon. It doesn't give you any other abilities or any other sort of story progression. You just keep going down the, the line of the dungeon, and I assume that it does just get a little bit more difficult as you continue on. So just bear that in mind. And the only other thing I, um, I will say about that as well is it creates your own character just for the dungeon so if you wish to do the story mode you can't take that um, uh, your character that you've created in story mode for example and take it onto the dungeon from what I've been able to see in the short time that I've uh, been playing the game so just food for thought and I just figured I'll just um, explain that to you guys so yeah if you guys are still interested in playing the game by all means continue to play the game um, and download it for yourselves and see what you think um, on yourself there but like I said it's just an, another little game that we've got so far while we're waiting for you know the main event as I like to call it so once Immortal does decide to come out and if we do get any sort of pre um, pre alpha gameplay or pre-release beta gameplay or anything like that now unfortunately I'm not nowhere near as close to other people that would be with um, in regards to Blizzard but you know, I'm only just a very small channel, of course, so there's only so much that I would have at my fingertips. So, with other compared to other people that will have the ability to, you know, hopefully might be able to get, say, early registration access, that'd be great, but I'm not too sure how they're going to do that anyway. So, that's the only thing that I'm not too sure of. So, once that all sort of happens, I guess, you know, we, um, you know, we'll know when we know. So I guess that, that's probably one thing. But once uh, once that does happen, then obviously, yeah, I'll be playing a lot of Diablo. Absolutely. But as we're sort of playing through here, as you can see, it seems to be very, um, very condensed. Uh, the maps don't appear that big. What I wanted to sort of check out as well while we're coming back here, what I've noticed as well is if you want to go into your menu and check things out in your menu there, you need to kill what's around you before you can deep dive into that. So what we've got here is we do have a skill point. We've got five skill points to play with. So what I want to do is I want to power up my levels here for fire magic because that's what I'm currently using. So I may as well just go all, I need three skill points to increase that. That's fine. What I might do is um, uh, no resistance to spells, finesse yourself in combat. So critical hits chance by 1%, ability to harness your energy from the world, increase your energy cap, so that might be one I might want to look at, winter magic, uh, water magic gives you 10% more uh, water damage per level, uh, knowledge using that shadow magic gives you more shadow damage per level, and then armor, I think I might just want to sink it into armor here, honestly, and arcane, arcane magic here, damage per level, you know what, I might want to do this. Cool. So there goes all my skill points. I picked up a helmet. So let's go into our inventory. Look at that. What do we have here? 
so we've got a staff. So let's just drop that in. Let's drop that in. Very good. And as you can see here, you've got your um, up here, you've got your uh, attack, defense, um, other damage mods, all that sort of stuff. So I've got 20% to fire damage at the minute. Um, and journal, there's that we've got there before that we sort of looked at here. So yeah, kind of neat. Okay, let's see what this does now. Whoops. Taking a bit of damage. 64 damage, so that's pretty good. So it looks like we've got critical hits there. So double the damage multiplier there, which is awesome. Why can't I break that? Which now I can. Good. Break that. So right now, I just want to sort of try and get my coins up. And as you can see, the dead bodies just sort of um, plot, plot around. Bit of a ragdoll kind of style. Uh, which is, you know, a little bit amusing. It's cool. I don't, don't mind it uh, personally, but anyway. So yeah, like I said, you really have to sort of point and then shoot in the direction where you're trying to kill your enemy there. Otherwise, they're not going to sort of, um, it's not going to sort of auto guide you. So very, very old school in the, in this sense here. Um, compared to a lot of other games, of course, really. So a couple of hits, a couple of hits again. There we go. And that just opens up into another section. Oop. As you can see, oh, there we go. We're up to level three. Awesome. I just want to sort of uh, let's have a look. Let's just see what's over here. Okay, took these guys out. I am taking a bit of damage, so I still got my little potions there that I can utilise there if I need it, of course. So when I do level up, it does regenerate. So there's that. And I guess probably the best thing to do, especially when you've got a, a range um, character like a mage, utilize it. Just make sure that you're maximizing your um, your abilities here and what and the resources. I mean, I really don't have to tell you that, guys. I'm sure you guys would make that own um, assessment for yourselves. As we sort of come back this way, I just wanted to quickly backtrack and just see what was over here. Didn't want to, you know, didn't want to come back to a dead end anyway, and I just want to make sure that I've got it through this part here, and I don't have to come back, you know, at a later point, just to find out that there was, wasn't really anything for me to uh, discover around here, so which is good. So we shall continue on. Um, on your hot bar there as well, I hadn't explained this, so at the bottom, you've got the little green bar that you can see, that would be your experience. So that will continue to um, accumulate and eventually that you guys will have enough to obviously level up naturally. Whoop. Let's just get out of his clutches there. There we go. And this is just a little room. Nothing fancy. Things I can break down, which is awesome. Get a bit of coin. Why not? And gonna break that down. Very good. And we can move on. I sort of like to sort of scan the perimeter just to see where I need to be going. Oop, I'm gonna die, so just hit one of my potion bottles there. Okay, let's just take you out. Very good. Let's just get out of that way. And there's a drop. Let's go pick that up. Don't know what that was. I think that was a a, a mana drop. So the little blue little um uh, little blob. I don't know what it was really to be honest with you, so I'm guessing that's what that was. Okay. Oop. Just be careful. There we go. Oop. Oop. There we go. Alright. Oop, I didn't see you there. Hey. Cool. We've got a decent amount of bits and pieces, which is nice. What's over here? Little bits and pieces here that you can break down. So very old school looking, I, I do actually enjoy this, I don't know if this is more Diablo 1-esque um, look and feel, I don't know, again, it's, it's you know, you're comparing, you, you're comparing a Blizzard game to, to a game like this, it's very hard to make, um, you know, assessments and, and judgments on that, so I'm not going to sort of, you know, um, say that it is, but I don't know, it's just the vibes that you get from it. Again, uh, I would probably rate Anima a lot higher than I would rate this. I believe Anima is a much, much better polished game um, in that respect. But then again, respect to the developer for this game, of course. Um, he or she or 
people in general, oh sorry, people in general to this game that are uh, developing this game, I would imagine. What's going on here? Okay, I don't like what I see there. I honestly don't like what I see there, so I'm just going to break down what I've got here and what is, oh Jesus, okay, what, what am I doing? Let's, um, yeah, let's get out of there real quick. I don't know what was happening there. That was um, a little minefield. Yeah, not good. Okay, let's just grab the little bit of coin that I was able to get. Yeah, hey, there's a little spider thing. So we've got, picked up an item, we picked up some gauntlets, which is good. Okay, killed some of these guys here. I don't know if there was anyone behind there, I don't believe so. Nice. Cool. All right, let us go into here. Let's go into our inventory. Oh, we got we got a few things that we've picked up. I hadn't even realised. Um, is this better? Uh, better magic res. Okay. I don't know. That's better. That might be better overall. Yeah. And we've got a staff, thirteen percent more, fourteen percent more. Okay. Well, let's take that on. Um, this here. What do we got? This is gauntlets, braces, cool. And if you notice, if you long press this, it highlights where it's supposed to go. So that's good. And I'm not gonna use that because this seems to be a better weapon overall. Ooh, that, okay, level, um, so 70 hit damage now, which is good. Hit up level three, very good. So, skill points, um, can we increase fire magic? I think we just did. Cool. So, we are on to level 4. Burn, burn 2. Okay. So, here you can... 25% chance of burning. Increases the time enemy you're burning. So, these are sort of like skill trees, and then you've got your passives down here as you sort of... Um, as you sort of progress further on from there, which is kind of neat. So there's a little bit of game depth in here, not bad. These little guys here, they're, they're emitting the, these little purple things. Purple attacks. Don't know what that's all about. But that looks pretty neat. No, you're dead, you're fine. Oop. Oh no, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so they don't really dissolve or deteriorate or, um, or you know, that they don't evaporate from the game once you've killed them. So I guess you sort of have to be careful or, you know, try not to use, overuse your, your equipment. But right now I'm doing all right, which is really good. Found, seemed to have got myself another potion, fully healed. I'm actually, right now, I think I'm really in really good shape. I don't know. 163 damage, so doing quite well, I like to think. Oop. Need the double hit there. Let's get out of... No, we just got hit. That's okay. And is it... Ooh, what's up here? What's up here? Got a bit of traffic up here. That's all well and good. Alright, looks like we got our way through quite easily. Honestly, I'm not going to continue to break down some of these if I don't have to. Let's just continue on. I guess if you really want to, if you want to find every bit of coin or every bit of whatever, um, like that, then you probably would be more inclined to do, you know, um, a lot more uh, deep diving, discovery, things like that. But I'm picking up items now, which is great. I'm getting hammered at the same time, so it's all good. Oops, let's just get out of the way. Okay, nice. Oops. Yeah, so like I said, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the... It doesn't sort of auto lock on, but that's okay. I guess when you sort of get used to one ability, it just sort of, you know, it becomes um, a given. But I guess this sort of, you know, requires you to be a little bit more on the accurate side. So, yeah. Well, so far so good. Oop, we've got guys coming up on the rear. Look at that, just going to work here. Oop, where'd you come from? Ooh, I nearly died. There we go. This is a dead end, very good. 
and I don't know if you can actually I think there was the ability to check out your map oh there we go so you got your map here as well so you need to you need to hit this little icon here and if you tap out of it once you can actually see a very faint part of the map there so it just shows you where you are which I, I don't actually mind that I actually really do like that uh, personally but everyone has their own preferabilities or preferences I guess and I guess that's probably to the the next zone or well, next level I guess so there is quite a number of levels okay what do we got here what's happening here oh jeez hello Let's use one of our bigger attacks. Look at that. Ooh, did you see that? It's going to continue to use that. Why not? Ooh. Okay, cool. So those things are a mana, which is awesome. He does a bit of damage to you. Okay. Oh, no. Let's get some mana. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Blast him. Blast him. And blast him. Oh, no, 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 no. Heal. Mana. Blast last with that reach level five and we just defeated him by the skin of our teeth there guys did well did actually really well okay so i guess that's it so let's go enter i guess this takes us back outside hopefully yeah all right cool so as you can see the map does stay up there as well so it gives you a little bit of a guideline as to where you go uh, where you are as well so probably should have done that a little bit earlier but anyway it is what it is so we can race back and we can just suss out real quick if there's any other objectives or anything like that that we can do um, but you know what we might just cash in on that person there and see if there's any sort of reward to that and then I guess probably be a good time to go ahead and leave it I guess so we'll head over back to where we are here destroy the skeleton so it's still asking me to do that little quest there which is weird because I thought I did all of that beforehand because it asks me to um, uh, what do you call it it asked me just to kill the four skeletons initially now it's telling me that I have to come back here which I guess is kind of good because at least it tells you what you need to do picked up, picked up this staff very good so I'm guessing oh okay so I'm gonna have to go in there potentially you know what I won't do that today I'm just gonna leave that as it is so I, I'm sure you guys sort of get the idea generally speaking but I want to head up to that um, I believe it was like a uh, like a girl or a lady potentially and just see if that person's there so I can finish the quest for that well I don't know whether or not they necessarily disappear but I think it's up this oh no no you're there hey cool I'm glad you decided to serve uh, D D Darian I think anyway you know your help here will not be forgotten leave so I didn't get anything okay fair enough well I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here today so let me know what you thought about this game down below in the comments um interesting game um very very old school looking i kind of like it but anyway i thought i'd just try something new if you guys enjoyed it i might make another video if not let me know in the comments let me know your thoughts about it anyway so if you end up enjoying it so hit the like button share it if you can that'd be great and if you guys are new to the channel seeing what you like here uh consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway guys i'm out of here take it easy and I will see you next time.